Hi everyone, what is up? Welcome or welcome back to my channel, Clem by Sam. For today's video, we are going to be talking about some new holiday makeup releases again. I love doing these videos because I just love talking about new makeup releases and the holiday makeup releases are always like the most exciting part of the year makeup wise and I just think all like the festive gift sets and everything and the festive makeup releases are just so much fun. So I love making these videos to show you which products are released, which ones are being released very soon and just talking to you guys and I would love to hear your opinion on them as well. So in this video I'm not going to show only holiday makeup releases but I'm also going to go over some regular ones because there have been some pretty exciting regular makeup releases as well and I'm also going to be talking about some new advent calendars. So I think that is going to be very fun and if you want to hear about these new holiday makeup releases then please keep watching. I have just moved to the side again like I always love to do with these videos so I can show you the photos right here on the screen. And something I wanted to say is that this video is actually very exciting because this is the very first video on my brand new camera. I finally have a new camera. My lovely boyfriend gave it to me for my birthday and I'm so thankful. I'm so lucky to finally have a new camera. I used to film on my Canon 600D which was a decent camera but it was about eight years old and it was really lacking some features that I needed my camera to have. So I finally have a new one and I hope my video quality is going to be improving as well. So that's very exciting but let's get started with all the new makeup releases because we have quite a bit to discuss. So the very first thing that was released this week was actually the new Sigma Beauty and Cinderella collection. I don't think this was a holiday makeup release but I did want to discuss it because as you guys know I love Disney so when I saw this release I was so excited. Now I am actually a Sigma Beauty affiliate but they didn't send me like this collection or anything which is fine and I was like I'm totally going to buy this. Basically in the collection I have my iPad right here so if you see me looking down that is why but in the collection there is an eyeshadow palette, a blush and highlighter palette, there are two lip product so a liquid lipstick and a lip gloss and then there is a brush set with five different brushes. I'm not gonna lie I kind of wanted everything from this collection but it's a pretty pricey collection so I didn't get everything but I did get the eyeshadow palette and the blush palette so I knew I really wanted to get the eyeshadow palette because it looks absolutely stunning and I actually think the Sigma Beauty eyeshadow palettes are so good quality. And then I also got the Cheek Joe because it looks so stunning. And I just think the Cinderella like theme of this collection is so cute. So this one is definitely a thumbs up for me. I would love to hear you guys' thoughts on this collection. I'm not sure when it's going to arrive because I saw their international shipping can take quite long. So if it arrives in like a decent time frame, I will definitely try to get a review up because I love to review this for you. But if it like doesn't arrive maybe until like the end of October, I'm not sure how relevant it's still going to be. So I have to see when it arrives to see if I want to review the collection, but that is the new Sigma Cinderella collection. Then the next release is actually a holiday palette and this is by Anastasia Beverly Hills. So Anastasia released their Primrose eyeshadow palette, I think that is what this is called. It has 10 different eyeshadows and then it has a blush and a bronzer and I was kind of surprised because it looks pretty but it doesn't look like Anastasia at all. To me, the eyeshadows do look really pretty, definitely, but I'm not the biggest fan of the blush and the bronzer. So the blush looks so pale, like I'm not sure if this is even going to work on my skin tone looking at these shades. So I'm kind of just like confused by that. Like I think it's meant to be a blush. So that's kind of strange, but it looks pretty, but the bronzer actually looks pretty orange. So I think I'm just going to wait until there are reviews on this product to see if I'm actually going to be picking it up. But if I I would have to guess I don't think I am. I'm not really into Anastasia as much anymore. I don't know their palettes don't really excite me anymore and I just have other palettes that I would reach for over this one so I don't think I will be picking this up but I am curious to see reviews on this and I would love to hear your thoughts on this as well. Then we of course have the Pat McGrath Holiday Collection and this was revealed and I'm really excited about this collection. So there is an eyeshadow palette, there's going to be two cheek palettes, two eyeshadow quads and a single highlighter. And I have to say the eyeshadow palette, I'm not the biggest fan of the design. I like a more sleek design with not as many shades in there so I don't think I will be picking up that one. But one thing I am very interested in is the lightest blush palette. So 
These are called the Blush Glow Trios and the one I really want is in Galactic Sun. So that is the latest one. It comes with the shades Divine Rose, Desert Orchid and Golden Nectar and I actually think that highlighter looks absolutely stunning. The Divine Rose blush looks absolutely stunning. I'm not the biggest fan of the Desert Orchid blush but it does look pretty and I definitely think these are nice curated palettes to have in your collection that maybe when you go traveling you have like two different blush options and a highlighter so it'd be easy to take with you and I just think they look so so pretty. So I'm really going to wait until I see price of this one. I'm guessing they're just going to be full size so they're probably going to be quite pricey but maybe when there's like a sale or something I can pick one up because they look absolutely beautiful. And then I actually think the two eyeshadow quads look so amazing as well. And I like them both, but I think I prefer the one with more of like the pinky tones. Looks so pretty. I really want to add that to my collection. But again, these quads are quite pricey. I really don't like that Pat McGrath is that expensive because it's like kind of hard to justify the price for these quads, but maybe I will pick one up. I'm not entirely sure yet, but they do look very pretty. And the other thing which I think looks absolutely amazing as well is the new Skin Fetish Sublime Skin Highlighter in the shade Lunar Nude. Now this looks so pretty. Looks like a really pretty sort of like champagne highlighter. And I'm really curious to see reviews on this one because I've heard that sometimes Pat McGrath highlighters can be a bit too deep for like a fair skin tone. So if this one doesn't work for a fair skin tone, then of course I'm not going to be picking it up. But if it does and it is a pretty shade on my skin tone, then maybe I want to pick this up because it looks so pretty and I would love to try more from Pat McGrath because at this time I only own one of the blushes. So that is it for the Pat McGrath holiday collection. The next Sephora released two different sets for the holiday of 2021. So there is the Sparkly Clean Makeup set and then there's also the Swipe of Lip Color Lipstick and Lip Balm set. And both of these are $36. And I want to start with the Sparkly Clean set because I was actually very surprised by something and that is on the photo. You see this Tower 28 full size lip balm and they haven't released this product yet. So I'm so excited that they finally are bringing out a lip balm. I absolutely love their lip glosses and I'm really curious to see how good this formula is going to be. If it's going to be just as comfortable as the lip glosses, I really want to pick it up because I absolutely love those glosses. But that being said, this set looks really amazing. So besides the tinted lip balm, you get the Merit Cream Blush in the shade Cheeky, which is a full size. You get a Milk Makeup Color Chalk in the shade Hopscotch, which is also a full size. You get an Ilia Mascara, a Tasha Liquid Silk Canvas Primer, and then also a highlighter. And those three are going to be travel sizes, I think. So this looks like a really pretty set, and I really hope it's coming to European Sephora too, but I don't think it is. I don't think these sets ever like really come to Europe. I think they have like different sets over here so that's kind of sad but if you live in America then this is totally a nice gift set and I think it would be such a lovely one. The lip set I'm not as much interested in but it does look pretty. You also get three different full sizes. You get the NARS lipstick pencil in the shade Corella. You get the Huda Beauty lip pencil in the shade Honey Beige and then you get the Summer Fridays lip balm in Coco Nude. All of those three are going to be full sizes and then you get a travel size I think of the Clinique lipstick in the shade Black Honey and also the YSL lipstick in the shade 70. I'm not really interested in that one but the Sparkly Clean set looks really really nice. So now I want to talk about a couple of advent calendars that I saw that I think are very interesting. So the first one I want to talk about is the Huda Beauty advent calendar. And this is called the House of Huda 12 Door Advent Calendar. So this is already available to purchase. It costs 175 euros. So it's definitely quite expensive, but it does say in the product info, save 35% on the new 12 door advent calendar. So I think buying this is going to save 35% on all of these products. I think that's what they mean by that. 
So I am going to be discussing some spoilers. So if you don't want to know what's in these advent calendars, then maybe you can click on a different video of mine. But if you want to see what's in there, then I think this is going to be a very fun calendar because you actually get quite a couple of things. You get 12 different products, like I said, but they do look really, really good. So the products include like the mascara, the eyeliner, a brow pencil, an eyeshadow palette, the enzyme scrub, the thirst trap juice serum, some lashes, the silk balm. So I have to say, I think this advent calendar looks really pretty and I would definitely pick it up if it was less expensive. There is also this like really cute gingerbread scrub in there. It looks so cute. But the problem that I have with this advent calendar is that you're paying 175 euros which for 12 different products it's not that bad but to be honest I don't want everything that's in here like I don't need the lashes I don't need the like face mask I don't need the like lipstick so I'm not sure if it's really worth the money but if you have the money to spend and you love Huda Beauty then this can definitely be a nice calendar I think it definitely looks really pretty it's just not something that I would personally spend my money on because I don't want all of these products and then it's kind of like a waste of my money because it is still quite expensive but maybe if it gets on sale then it'd be a nice deal and it still is a nice deal if you have the money to spend and you love Huda Beauty then the next advent calendar that is available is the calendar from Sephora France. And this is just called the Sephora Favorites Advent Calendar and it is 129 euros and 90 cents. This is personally one of the most exciting advent calendars in my opinion. I really think that this is a very nice selection of products and they're from very exciting brands. So it's not just like you're getting products that don't sell well. They're actually really popular products. And I'm just going to name a couple of products in here. So the most exciting thing for me that is in here is the Baby Biba eyeshadow palette from Natasha Denona. It is a travel size with three different shades and I think this is exclusive to this advent calendar. I don't think this has released on its own but this is such a fun little palette in the calendar. There is a full size pillow talk lipstick from Charlotte Tilbury. There is a full size Anastasia Beverly Hills brow freeze. Like how exciting is that? There is a makeup eraser in there. There are some from Huda Beauty, Fenty Skin, Fresh. There are some mini perfumes in there, some like skincare bits. So I really think that this is a really nice selection of products and I will have this linked down below because I really think that this is a calendar that a lot of people will like. So I really wanted to mention that one in this video because I think it's a really nice one for quite a nice amount of money. I mean, it's not too expensive. It's of course not really cheap, but it's definitely not as expensive as some other advent calendars. So I really think this one from Sephora is a nice calendar. And the last advent calendar that I wanted to mention for today's video is the one from Cult Beauty. If you want to see a video where I discuss more advent calendars, then definitely let me know because I can totally do that. I just thought for this video I would mention a couple of ones that I think are very exciting. So this one is definitely a bit more expensive, but it does have some very luxurious brands in there. So this Cult Beauty advent calendar is going to retail for 248 euros. So it's really, really expensive, but it it does has a 1,100 euro value. So really the value of this calendar is absolutely amazing. I just know personally, I'm not going to be picking this up because I really cannot justify spending 250 euros almost on an advent calendar. But if you have the money to spend, then I think this is going to be such a lovely one. So again, I'm just going to tell you like a selection of products that are available in here. So for instance, you're getting a full-size Victoria Beckham lip Sick. you're getting the glow recipe watermelon toner there is a full-size natasha denona liquid liner in there deluxe Too face mascara a full-size lip dew from vive and just a lot of good products there are just so many full sizes in here and from very luxurious brands so even though i think this calendar is very expensive if it is really worth 1100 euros i mean that is a really good value for your money so i will have this calendar linked down below it is coming in stock in October, so it's not yet available. So I will have a link so you can decide if you think it is worth your money. And if you want to pick it up, then I will have the link down below as well. And you can actually like sign up to get priority access. So you enter your email and then they will notify you when this is going to be in stock. So if you want that calendar, then definitely do that. Because I know like last year it sold out so fast. These are always so hard to get. But I mean, the value is amazing. So I totally can see why. 
Okay guys, and this was it for my new makeup releases and sort of will I buy it video. I really hope you guys enjoyed watching this and find this video interesting. I would love to hear your opinion on these makeup releases and advent calendars. Definitely let me know which one is your favorite and which ones you don't like as much. And also if you did enjoy this video, then I would absolutely love it if you gave it a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notification bell if you don't want to miss any of my videos. All of these things would help me so much with my channel and I'd really appreciate it. But with that said, I want to thank you guys all so much for watching. I really hope you have an amazing day and I really hope to see you in my next video. Bye!